Mercosur, officially Southern Common Market is a South American trade bloc established by the Treaty of Asunción in 1991 and Protocol of Oro Preto in 1994. Its full members are Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay and Uruguay. Venezuela is a full member but has been suspended since December 1, 2016. Associate countries are Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guyana, Peru and Suriname. Observer countries are New Zealand and Mexico. Mercosur's purpose is to promote free trade and the fluid movement of goods, people, and currency. It currently confines itself to a customs union, in which there is free intra zone trade and a common trade policy between member countries. The official languages are Spanish, Portuguese, and Guarani. Since its foundation, Mercosur's functions have been updated, amended, and changed many times. It is now a full customs union and a trading bloc. Mercosur and the Andean Community of Nations are customs unions that are components of a continuing process of South American integration connected to the Union of South American Nations USAN. History <laughs> Founding Mercosur was established in 1991 by the Treaty of Asunción, which was later amended and updated by the 1994 Treaty of Oro Preto. Mercosur originated in 1988, when Presidents Raúl Alfonsín of Argentina and José Sarni of Brazil signed the Argentina-Brazil Integration and Economics Cooperation Programme or PICE Portuguese, Programa de Integração e Cooperação Económica Argentina-Brazil, Spanish, Programa de Integration y Cooperación Económica Argentina-Brazil. The Protocol No. 20 of the program also proposed the gaucho as a currency for regional trade. The founding of the Mercosur Parliament was agreed upon at the December 2004 presidential summit. Up to 2010, it was planned to have 18 representatives from each country, regardless of population. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Memberships and suspensions. Topic. Suspension of Paraguay After suspending Paraguay in 2012, the presidents of the Mercosur countries Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, and Venezuela said in July 2013 that they would lift the suspension after the inauguration of Paraguay's newly elected president, Horacio Cart, on 15 August 2013. However, Paraguay said it would not return to the Mercosur fold as long as Venezuela held its rotating presidency. Venezuela held Mercosur's rotating presidency until July 2014. Paraguay has objected to Venezuela's inclusion in the trading bloc, and says that a new member can only be included after a unanimous vote and argues that such a vote should not have been held while Paraguay was suspended. Foreign Minister Eladio Loizaga said he would rather deal with Paraguay's neighbors individually at first. We have pending issues with Argentina, with Uruguay, we have to recompose all that. He said. Mercosur will be later because our priority are sick the bilateral relations," he added. <inaudible> <inaudible> Bolivian membership status On 7 December 2012, Bolivian President Evo Morales signed a protocol aimed at accession to full membership of the bloc. Such a proposal requires review and possible legislative approval. On July 7, 2015, the heads of Mercosur having decided to accept Bolivia's request to become a full member country, Bolivian President Evo Morales signed the Brasilia Protocol. This acted Bolivia's full membership to the Mercosur. Topic: <laughs> Suspension of Venezuela. In August 2016, the presidents of Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay, while present in Rio de Janeiro for the Olympic Games, met to discuss suspending Venezuela from Mercosur. The three countries were in doubt about whether Venezuela was complying with the Union's requirements for full membership, citing human rights violations among other issues. 
In fact, Venezuela was rejected from assuming the presidency of Mercosur by those three countries, prompting a dispute that continued in full throttle to the end of the year. On the 21st of November 2016, Paraguayan Foreign Minister Eladio Loizaga announced that Venezuela would be suspended in December 2016 after the nation was given a three-month period to reform its laws to abide to Mercosur requirements, with Mercosur noting that rules governing trade, politics, democracy, and human rights needed to be overhauled in Venezuela. On 1 December 2016, Venezuela was suspended from Mercosur. Member states Mercosur is composed of five sovereign member states, Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay and Venezuela suspended since December, 2016, and a state in process of incorporation, Bolivia since July 17, 2015 following the impeachment of President Fernando Lugo by the Paraguayan Senate, this country was suspended from Mercosur, and the admittance of Venezuela as a full member became effective on 31 July 2012. Venezuela had four years to fully adapt to the trade bloc regulations and failed to do so, with the nation being suspended from Mercosur on 1 December 2016, directly subordinated to the Common Market Group. The work subgroups draw up the minutes of the decisions to submit for the consideration of the Council, and study specific Mercosur concerns. The work subgroups are Commercial matters Customs matters Technical standards Tax and monetary policies relating to trade Land transport Sea transport Industrial and technology policies Agricultural policy Energy policy Coordination of macroeconomic policies Labor, employment and social security matters work subgroups are held quarterly, alternating in every member state, in alphabetical order, or at the Common Market Group Administrative Office. Activities are carried out by the work subgroups in two stages, preparatory and conclusive. In the preparatory stage, members of the work subgroups may request the participation of representatives from the private sector of each member state. The decision-making stage is reserved exclusively for official representatives of the member states. The delegations of representatives from the private sector in the preparatory stage of the work subgroup activities will have a maximum of three representatives for each member state directly involved in any of the stages of the production, distribution or consumption process for the products that fall within the scope of the subgroup's activities. <laughs> <laughs> Heads of state Geography The territory of Mercosur consists of the combined territories of six of the twelve countries of South America and their population. Including the overseas territories of member states, Mercosur experiences most types of climate from Antarctic to tropical, rendering meteorological averages for Mercosur as a whole meaningless. The majority of the population lives in areas with a subtropical climate Uruguay, southern Paraguay, northeastern Argentina and southern and southeastern Brazil, or a tropical climate Venezuela and northeastern Brazil. <laughs> Demographics The region is highly urbanized, and the largest cities in Mercosur are the global cities Buenos Aires, Rio de Janeiro and São Paulo. The white population is the majority in Argentina and CLGT and represents around half the population in Brazil. Mestizos form the majority population in Paraguay. All Mercosur nations have significant Native American populations, especially in Paraguay. Guarani is a national language in the country along with Spanish, and almost all Paraguayans have Guarani genetic ancestry. Argentina, especially in the country's northwestern, northern, and southern provinces, Brazil, in the northern Amazonian states of the nation, where Native American tribes have vast reservation lands. Along with Paraguay where it is one of two official languages, sectors of Argentina Corrientes speak Guarani. However, the Mercosur does not provide all, or even most, services in Guarani. The official website, almost all official summits are only held in Spanish and Portuguese. Largest cities Merchandise trade 
Intramercosur merchandise trade excluding Venezuela grew from $10 billion at the inception of the trade bloc in 1991 to $88 billion in 2010. Brazil and Argentina each accounted for 43% of this total. The trade balance within the bloc has historically been tilted toward Brazil, which recorded an Intramercosur balance of over $5 billion in 2010. Trade within Mercosur amounted to only 16% of the four countries' total merchandise trade in 2010. However, trade with the European Union, 20%, China, 14%, and the United States, 11%, was of comparable importance. Exports from the bloc are highly diversified and include a variety of agricultural, industrial, and energy goods. Merchandise trade with the rest of the world in 2010 resulted in a surplus for Mercosur of nearly $7 billion. Trade in services, however, was in deficit by over $28 billion. The EU and China maintained a nearly balanced merchandise trade with Mercosur in 2010, while the United States reaped a surplus of over $14 billion. Mercosur, in turn, earned significant surpluses over $4 billion each in 2010 in its trade with Chile and Venezuela. The latter became a full member in 2012. Topic: <inaudible> Structure. The Asunción Treaty and Oro Preto Protocol established the basis for the institutional Mercosur structure, creating the Common Market Council and the Common Market Group, both of which function at the outset of the transition phase. As provided for in this treaty, before establishing the common market the member nations must call a special meeting to determine the definitive institutional structure for the public agencies managing Mercosur, as well as define the specific functions of each agency and the decision-making process. <laughs> common Market Council The Council is the highest level agency of Mercosur with the authority to conduct its policy, and responsibility for compliance with the objects and time frames set forth in the Asunción Treaty. The Council is composed of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs and the Economy or the equivalent of all five countries. Member states preside over the Council in rotating alphabetical order, for six-month periods. Meetings, Council members shall meet whenever necessary, but at least once a year. The presidents of the member nations shall partake of the annual Common Market Council meeting whenever possible. Decision-making, council decisions shall be made by consensus, with representation of all member states. <laughs> Common Market Group The group is the executive body of Mercosur, and is coordinated by the ministries of foreign affairs of the member states. Its basic duties are to cause compliance with the Asunción Treaty and to take resolutions required for implementation of the decisions made by the Council. Furthermore, it can initiate practical measures for trade opening, coordination of macroeconomic policies, and negotiation of agreements with non-member states and international agencies, participating when need be in resolution of controversies under Mercosur. It has the authority to organize, coordinate and supervise work subgroups and to call special meetings to deal with issues of interest. Composition, the common market group shall be made up of four permanent members and four alternates from each member state, representing the following public agencies, i the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, e the Ministry of Economy, or the equivalent from Industry, Foreign Affairs and or Economic Coordination, and e the Central Bank. The members of the Common Market Group appointed by a given member state will constitute the national section of the Common Market Group for that particular nation. Meetings, the Common Market Group will meet ordinarily at least once every quarter in the member states, in rotating alphabetical order. Special meetings may be freely called at any time, at any previously scheduled place. The meetings will be coordinated by the head of the delegation of the host member state. Decision-making, common market group decisions shall be made by consensus, with the representation of all member states. The official Mercosur languages will be Portuguese and Spanish, and the official version of all work papers will be prepared in the language of the country hosting the meeting. Administrative and socio-economic 
The administrative office will keep documents and issue the Mercosur official bulletin in both Portuguese and Spanish, and will also be charged with communicating the activities of the common market group so as to allow for the maximum disclosure of decisions and the relevant documentation. The Socioeconomic Advisory Forum is consultative by nature, and represents the various socioeconomic sectors of the member nations. Work subgroups Directly subordinated to the common market group, the work subgroups draw up the minutes of the decisions to submit for the consideration of the Council, and conduct studies on specific Mercosur concerns. The work subgroups are the following, commercial matters, customs matters, technical standards, tax and monetary policies relating to trade, land transport, sea transport, industrial and technology policies, agricultural policy, energy policy, coordination of macroeconomic policies, and labor, employment and social security matters, meetings. The meetings of the work subgroups will be held quarterly, alternating in every member state, in alphabetical order, or at the Common Market Group Administrative Office. Activities will be carried out by the work subgroups in two stages, preparatory and conclusive. In the preparatory stage, the members of the work subgroups may request the participation of representatives from the private sector of each member state. The decision-making stage is reserved exclusively for official representatives of the member states. The delegations of representatives from the private sector in the preparatory stage of the work subgroup activities will have a maximum of three representatives for each member state directly involved in any of the stages of the production, distribution or consumption process for the products that fall within the scope of the subgroup's activities. <laughs> <laughs> Joint Parliamentary Committee The committee will have both an advisory and decision-making nature, with powers to submit proposals as well. It will be competent, inter alia, to, follow up on the integration process and keep the respective Congresses in form, take the necessary steps for the future instatement of a Mercosur Parliament, organize subcommittees to examine matters relating to the integration process, submit its recommendations to the Common Market Council and Group as to how the integration process should be conducted and Southern Common Market formed, make the adjustments necessary to harmonize the laws of the different member states and submit them to the respective Congresses, establish relationships with private entities in each of the member states, as well as international agencies and bureaus so as to obtain information and specialized assistance with matters of interest, establish relationships targeting cooperation with Congresses of the non-member nations and entities involved in regional integration schemes, subscribe to cooperation and technical assistance accords with public and or private entities whether domestic, supranational or international. The committee will be composed of a maximum of 64 acting parliamentary members, 16 per member state, and an equal number of alternates, appointed by the Congress to which they pertain, and with a term of office of at least two years. The meetings shall be conducted by a director's board consisting of four presidents, one for each member state. The committee will ordinarily meet twice a year, and extraordinarily whenever summoned by any of its five presidents. Meetings are held in the territory of each member state on a successive and alternating basis. Decision-making – Meetings of the Joint Parliamentary Committee will only be valid when attended by parliamentary delegations from all member states. Decisions by the Joint Parliamentary Committee will be made by consensus vote of the majority of the members accredited by the respective Congresses of each member state. Portuguese and Spanish are the official languages of the Joint Parliamentary Committee. Trade Commission The Trade Commission will assist the Mercosur executive body, always striving to apply the instruments of common trade policy agreed to by the member states for operation of the customs unification. The Commission should also follow up on the development of issues and matters related to common trade policies, the intra-Mercosur trade and trade with other countries. The Commission will have five actual members and four alternates, with each member nations indicating a member. 
The Trade Commission shall exert every effort to apply common trade policy instruments such as, trade agreements with other countries or international entities, administrative, commercial product lists, final adaptation system for Mercosur Customs Unification, RIGIN system, free trade zone system, special customs areas and export processing zones, system to discourage unfair trade practices, elimination and harmonization of tariff restrictions, non-member country safeguard systems, customs coordination and harmonization, consumer consumer protection systems, and export incentive harmonization. Furthermore, the Trade Commission should speak out regarding the issues raised by the member states regarding application and compliance with common offshore tariffs and other common trade policy instruments. The Commission shall meet at least once a month, as well as whenever asked to by the Mercosur Executive Agency or by a member state. The Commission can take decisions entailing administration and application of trade policies adopted under Southern Common Market, and whenever necessary submit proposals to the executive body regarding regulation of the areas under its authority. Additionally, it can propose new guidelines or modify those in existence in Mercosur trade and customs matters. In this respect, the Trade Commission can propose a change in the import duty on specific items under common external tariffs, including cases referring to development of new Mercosur production activities. To better achieve its objectives, the Trade Commission can create technical committees targeting direction and supervision of the work it engages in. It can also adopt internal operating regulations. Proposals and decisions of the Trade Commission will be taken by a consensus of the representatives indicated by each member nation. Any disputes ensuing from the application, interpretation or compliance with the acts issued by the Trade Commission are referred to the Mercosur Executive Body, and should be resolved using the directives set forth in the Dispute Resolution System adopted under Southern Common Market. <laughs> <laughs> International jurisdiction over contractual matters The rules on litigation jurisdiction over contractual matters will apply to disputes arising from civil or commercial international contracts between private law legal entities or individuals provided that, they are domiciled or headquartered in different member states, at least one of the parties to the contract is domiciled or headquartered in any member state and, additionally, has made a choice of jurisdiction in favor of a court in one of the member states. In this case, there must be a reasonable connection between the jurisdiction chosen and the controversy. The scope of the application of the International Jurisdiction Guidelines over contractual matters excludes the following, legal relationships between bankrupt entities, individuals and their creditors and any other analogous proceedings especially concordata's composition with creditors, matters under agreements involving family and succession law, social security contracts, administrative contracts, employment contracts, consumer sales contracts, transport contracts, insurance policies, and rights in REM. Topic. Choice of jurisdiction Courts in member nations to whose jurisdiction the contracted parties have agreed to submit the matter in writing will have jurisdiction to settle controversies stemming from civil or commercial international contracts. Topic. Agreement of choice The jurisdiction can be agreed on at the time the contract is signed, during the life of the contract, or even when the dispute actually arises. The validity and effects of the choice of venue will be governed by the law of the member nations that normally have jurisdiction to hear the case, always resorting to the law most favorable to the validity of the contract. Whether or not jurisdiction is chosen, such jurisdiction will be prorogated in favor of the courts of the member state where the proceedings are in fact filed, provided the respondent voluntarily allows this in an affirmative and unfeigned way. Subsidiary <inaudible> jurisdiction <inaudible> 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 Should the contracted parties not agree on courts competent to settle disputes, the member state chosen by the plaintiff of the case has jurisdiction. The court of the place where the contract is to be performed, the court of the domicile of the respondent, or the court of the domicile, or headquarters of the claimant when the latter can show that it has done its part. 
For purposes of item I above the place of performance of the contract is the member state where the obligations on which the claim is based have been or should be performed, taking into consideration the following, for contracts involving certain specific items, the place where they existed at the time of contract signing, for contracts involving specific items according to their type, the place of domicile of the debtor at the time of contract signing, for contracts involving fungible items, the place of domicile of the debtor at the time of conclusion of the contract, and for service rendering contracts if in regard to items this the place where they were at the time of contract signing if effectiveness is related to any special place this is the place where they were to produce effects in all other cases this is the place of domicile of the debtor at the time of contract signing for purposes of application of second item above for determination of the domicile of the respondent in a contractual dispute involving individuals, the following will be taken into consideration, the habitual residence, on a subsidiary basis, the central place of business, and in the absence of any such considerations, the place where found, meaning the actual residence. When dealing with a legal entity, the determination of the domicile will be based on where the administrative headquarters have been set up. The claim plaintiff can, as an alternative, file in any of the places where the legal entity has branches, establishments, agencies or any other type of representation. Legal entities headquartered in any member state that have concluded contracts with any other member state can be sued in the courts of this latter state should there be any dispute as to the construction and implementation of the obligations regulated by contract. In the event there is a co-defendant, a suit on contractual matters can be adjudicated with the courts of jurisdiction in the territory of the domicile of any of the parties to the litigation. Additionally, any claims entailing personal collateral rights or intervention of non-member states in contractual obligations can be filed with the court hearing the main proceeding. Topic: <laughs> Counterclaims. In the event of there being a counterclaim based on any act or fact that served as the basis for the main proceeding, the courts hearing the main proceeding will be competent to hear any counterclaims that may arise. <laughs> <laughs> Educational integration Based on the premise that education is a fundamental factor in the regional integration process, educational courses at the primary or junior high level, provided that they do not entail technical studies, will be recognized by member states as being on the same level for all member nations. Likewise, to facilitate continuing education, course certificates issued by an institution accredited in one of the member states is valid in all other member states. Non-technical primary and junior high-level studies that have not been completed are accredited by any member state, thereby allowing course conclusion in another member nation. Studies are completed using an equivalency table to determine the level achieved. Regional Technical Commission A regional technical commission harmonizes mechanisms for accreditation across member nations, and resolves any situation not be covered by the equivalency table. This commission includes delegations from the ministries of education of each member nation, and meets whenever at least two member states think it necessary. Meeting sites are established on a rotating basis. Any disputes among member states as a result of application, construction, or noncompliance regarding provisions related to education are initially resolved by direct diplomatic negotiations. Should the countries not reach an accord or only partially resolve the dispute, they resort to procedures set out in the dispute resolution system. Should the member nations enter into a bilateral convention or accord with provisions more favorable to their students, the member states in question can apply whichever provisions they consider most advantageous. <laughs> <laughs> Free trade zones The member nations can have commercial free trade zones, industrial free trade zones, export processing zones, and special customs areas, all of which target providing merchandise marketed or produced in these areas with treatment different from that afforded in their respective customs territories. Uruguay's Vice President Danilo Astori said the issue of a free trade agreement with the United States must be dealt and that opportunities must be built. He also said that each Mercosur country should have a multiplicity of memberships. 
Mercosur must have joint international policies, an agreement on moderate protection from third parties and above all must have agreements with other trade blocs. Tariffs The member states can assess merchandise from these areas with the common external tariff used for Mercosur merchandise, or, in the case of certain special products, the domestic tariff prevailing in each individual state. In this way, the products from the free trade zones can have the more favorable tax treatment established under Southern Common Market, given to the merchandise produced in the normal customs zones of each member state or, in the case of certain special products, can have the normal customs treatment prevailing in each nation. Products coming from outside of Mercosur are highly taxed so that local companies do not feel the need to compete with large international companies. Topic: <laughs> Safeguards. Products produced or marketed in the free trade zones of each member nation will be eligible for the safeguard system whenever this entails an increase not provided for in imports, but capable of causing damages or threatened damages to the importer country. Incentives <inaudible> 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 In the event of the producing nations granting special incentives for production from the free trade zones that are not compatible with the corresponding guidelines established under the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade GATT, the member nation can make any adjustments needed to return the situation to equilibrium. Topic. Creation The member nations agreed that any free trade zones that in August 1994 were already in operation could operate normally under Mercosur, along with any that are set up in light of legal guidelines prevailing or in course in Congress during this same time period. This means that a member nation can no longer create new free trade zones that are more privileged. Mercosur is an effective agreement for its members. Manaus and Tierra del Fuego FTZs The actual implementation of Mercosur will not affect the special Manaus, Brazil, and Tierra del Fuego, Argentina, free trade zones organized in light of their special geographic situations. These two free trade zones may continue normal operations until 2013. Reciprocal promotion and protection The nations subscribing to the Asuncion Treaty consider that the creation and maintenance of conditions favorable to individual or corporate investment for the jurisdiction of one of the member states in the territory of another state is essential to intensify the economic cooperation targeted so as to accelerate the integration process among all four member states. In this context, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay and Brazil signed on 1 January 1994 in the city of Colonia del Sacramento, Uruguay, the Colonia Protocol for the Reciprocal Promotion and Protection of Mercosur Investments Colonia Protocol. It was established in this protocol that investments under Mercosur by investors resident or domiciled in the territory of any member state will be entitled to treatment no less favorable than that accorded by the other member state to national investors or non-member states. Investors <inaudible> 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 For the purposes of constructing the Colonia Protocol, investors are considered to be, individuals who are citizens of any of the member nations or that reside there on a permanent basis or are domiciled there, with due regard for legislation prevailing in such territory, legal entities organized pursuant to the legislation of one of the member nations that are headquartered there, and legal entities organized in the territory where the investment is made, actually and directly or indirectly controlled by the legal entities or individuals mentioned above. Investment 
The term investment includes all types of assets such as, movable or immovable property, such as rights in REM and guarantee in REM rights, shares, corporate holdings and any other type of corporate participation, credit instruments and rights that may have an economic value, intellectual property rights or materials, including copyrights and industrial property rights such as patents, industrial drawings, trademarks, commercial names, technical procedures, know-how and goodwill, economic concessions involving public law, such as research, cultivation, extraction or natural resource exploration concessions. <inaudible> Freedom to invest The nation receiving the investment cannot avail itself of unjustified or discriminatory means capable of restricting the investor's freedom to manage, maintain, use, enjoy and dispose of its investments. Tax The member states are not however obligated to extend to investors in the other nations signatory to the Colonia Protocol the benefits of any treatment, preference or privilege resulting from international accords relating fully or partially to tax matters. Exceptions In addition, the member nations can temporarily establish a list of exceptions where the new treatment will not yet prevail. In this way, the various member nations decided to accept the following economic sectors Argentina, ownership of real estate on the frontier strip, air transportation, naval industry, nuclear power plants, uranium mining, insurance and fishery Brazil, mineral prospecting and mining, use of hydraulic energy, health care, television and radio broadcasting and telecommunications in general, acquisition or leasing of rural properties, participation in the financial intermediation, insurance, social security and capitalization systems, chartering and cabotage as well as inland navigation. Paraguay, ownership of real property on the frontier strip, communications, including radio and television broadcasting, air, sea and land transportation, electricity, water and telephone services, prospecting for hydrocarbons and strategic minerals, import and refining of petroleum derivatives and postal services. Uruguay, electricity, hydrocarbons, basic petrochemicals, atomic energy, prospecting for strategic minerals, financial intermediation, railways, telecommunications, radio broadcasting, press and audiovisual means. Expropriation and compensation The member nations undertook to do nothing to nationalize or expropriate investments in their territories that pertain to investors from the signatory countries, unless such measures are taken based on public need. In such case, nothing discriminatory can be done, but everything must be implemented by due legal process. Compensation for the investment holder that is expropriated or nationalized should be both adequate and effective, and made in advance, based on the real investment value determined at the time the decision is publicly announced by the proper authorities. This payment will be updated until actual payment, and the affected investor will receive interest. Transfers. The original member state investors will be insured free transfer of their investments and any earnings thereon. These transfers can be made in freely convertible currency, using the exchange rate prevailing on the market pursuant to the procedures established by the member state receiving the investment. Member nations cannot adopt any exchange measures restricting free transfer of the funds invested or from activities exercised in their respective territories. Role and potential Some South Americans see Mercosur as giving the capability to combine resources to balance the activities of other global economic powers, especially the North American Free Trade Agreement and the European Union. The organization could also potentially preempt the Free Trade Area of the Americas FTAA. .However, over half of the current Mercosur member countries rejected the FTAA proposal at the IV Cumbre de las Americas in Argentina in 2005. 
The development of Mercosur was arguably weakened by the collapse of the Argentine economy in 2001 and it has still seen internal conflicts over trade policy, between Brazil and Argentina, Argentina and Uruguay, Paraguay and Brazil, etc. In addition, many obstacles must be addressed before the development of a common currency in Mercosur. In 2004, Mercosur signed a cooperation agreement with the Andean Community of Nations Trade Bloc (CAN), and they published a joint letter of intent for future negotiations towards integrating all of South America. The prospect of increased political integration within the organization, as per the European Union and advocated by some, is still uncertain. Bolivia, also a member of CAN and an associate member of Mercosur before the UNASUR process started, plays a crucial part in relations, says Marion Horman, since Bolivia is traditionally seen as a mediator between the Andean countries and the rest of South America. Regional integration, key role for Bolivia. The bloc comprises a population of more than 270 million people, and the combined gross domestic product of the full member nations is in excess of $3 trillion a year purchasing power parity PPP according to International Monetary Fund IMF numbers, making Mercosur the fifth largest economy in the world. It is the fourth largest trading bloc after the European Union. The working of Mercosur has not met with universal approval within interested countries. Chile has to a certain extent preferred to pursue bilateral agreements with trading partners, and there have been calls from Uruguayan politicians to follow this example. FTA with third parties With the 2005 cooperation agreement with Mercosur, the Andean community gained four new associate members, Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. These four Mercosur members were granted associate membership by the Andean Council of Foreign Ministers meeting in an enlarged session with the Commission of the Andean Community on 7 July 2005. This move reciprocates the actions of Mercosur, which granted associate membership to all the Andean Community Nations by virtue of the Economic Complementarity Agreements, free trade agreements signed between the CAN and individual Mercosur members. Mercosur signed free trade agreements with Israel in December 2007, with Egypt in August 2010, the State of Palestine in December 2011, and Lebanon on December 18, 2014. In 2016, Brazilian presidents, Dilma Rousseff and later Michel Temer, along with Argentine President Macri have placed pressure to negotiate a free trade agreement between Mercosur and the European Union and other Latin American nations. Members Full members Argentina Brazil Paraguay Uruguay Topic Suspended members Venezuela Topic Associate countries Bolivia Protocol of Accession 2012 Chile Colombia Ecuador Guyana Peru Suriname Topic Observer countries New Zealand Mexico Guyana and Suriname have signed a framework agreement with Mercosur in July 2013 However this proposal requires legislative approval Topic. Passports gallery Topic. See also Citizenship of the Mercosur Andean Community Bolivarian Alliance for the Americas Central American Common Market Free Trade Area of the Americas Gaucho currency. Pacific Alliance Union of South American Nations UNASUR Road Network of the Mercosur List of country groupings List of multilateral free trade agreements <laughs>